Today's subject is a double entendre. Not only is she an icky girl that probably has cooties, but she's also Asian. You know, females have to worry about everything. You gotta worry about flawless skin. You gotta worry about your hair. I like her hair. Oh my god, girlfriend. Worrying about hair is just so bad. Never mind that flawless skin. In all honesty, the only people who worry about that shit are vapid, brainless bimbos who think looks are everything. Though, have you never met a metrosexual or a gay guy? Well, not all gay people, but they are just as anal about that shit. I tried to do that one time, but it's hard to, it's hard to maintain. You gotta, gotta blow dry all the, all the time. Gotta. Um, you know, and um, and, and mumbling doesn't make you look professional or competent. It it, it just looks makes you look like an idiot. Strain. Got to worry about your body. Yeah, I hate to tell ya, but guys have to worry about their bodies just as much as women. What other reason would I have to be doing P90X right now? Well, my blood pressure has a little bit to do with it, but honestly, I'm tired of being fat. But really, men worry about their bodies and working out just as much, if not more, than women. Got to worry about makeup. Fantastic edit you had there. Cutting yourself off is really cool and doesn't make you look stupid in the lace bit. Also, have you ever heard of transvestites? They like makeup just as much as women. What to wear? I had to worry about my clothes as well, you idiot. Walmart Home Office does have a dress code that I have to abide by. I like that dress too. Was it on sale? Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go off subject again and do some more mumbling because I know how much you people like that sort of thing and I know how smart it makes me seem. Macy's. You have to worry about their eyebrows. Don't look at mine. Don't look at mine. Stop. If you don't want us to look at you, then stop recording your videos with a camera! That would usually help in this situation. And if anything, this whole looking good thing, if for the fellas to want us, we already know that. And so we can look at ourselves in the mirror and say, you are a hot piece of ass. So you want to look good so you can be even more egotistical than you already are. Uh, your likability is off the fucking chart right now, and by that I mean it's down in the fucking toilet. And you are way hotter than that bitch. Do not even get me started with other females. No matter what, other females will always talk shit. Yeah, guys make fun of each other just as much as girls. Don't think you're special as a gender because of this. It is pretty much fucking universal. Bitches be cray cray. And bitches are even more cray cray when they're on their periods. Do I even need to explain this part? I don't understand the logic of periods at all. <laughs> yeah, neither do I. Seriously, think about it. There is something wrong when a person can bleed for seven days straight without fucking dying. That just seems unfucking human to say the least bit. It leads me to believe that women are actually all the undead. Jen, Danny, Kristen, you know I love you ladies. I don't understand why we must go through it. I don't understand why I must go through this punishment once a month, every month. I'm a good person, I don't do anything wrong. But no, my vagina is going to bleed. Well, the medical reasoning is because it is an ovulation cycle where each month the uterus is cleaned out in the effort of removing the dormant or dead. Uh, wait, what? Why am I explaining this shit to you? Did you never take sex ed in high school? I was forced to take it. You can't do anything fun for a week. These cramps. It's like there is an alien inside of me. You're bloating, so your tummy looks like Santa Claus no matter how long you've been working out the week before. You're eating well, and all of a sudden you have these crazy ass shit cravings like a super carne asada burrito covered in chocolate syrup, deep fried. Are you sure you're not talking about being pregnant? When my wife and our girlfriends, let that one simmer for a while, is on her period, it is fucking World War III in my house. She never has cravings for fucking weird foods. 
She did when she was pregnant, though. You might want to go have a talk with your little fuck buddy or OBGYN real fucking soon, because I think you got a surprise coming your way. With in and out animal fries on the side, you're gonna want chocolate ice cream more than you want chocolate men. That's just how it is. There you go. If you think I'm sexist in this commentary, then she's fucking racist. Speaking of food, girls, they'll eat a sandwich or they'll eat something, and they'll eat regularly, and they'll get five pounds in a day. Guys will eat like, like savages every single day, and they'll get ten pounds, play a game of basketball, take a shit, and it's gone. And then us, we gotta work months and months and months to lose five pounds. Yeah, tell that to every obese man in America right now. In all honesty, that is determined by the person's metabolism. It's not a gender-specific thing. That is simple fucking biology. Fuck you guys. I didn't even talk about the worst. Shaving your legs. I... I... <sighs> the only reason I wore a maxi dress to the 4th of July and to church the other day because I didn't want to shave my legs. That's sad. In high school, I had a buddy, his name was Nathaniel, who would bet the cheerleaders that his legs were smoother than theirs and would always fucking win. Why? Because he was a bicycler who shaved his legs regularly because it helps cut wind speed issues while riding a bike. And if you're a guy and you're watching this video and you're thinking this girl is so grimy, this girl is so ratchet, she don't shave her legs, whatever. You have obviously never been to France or an Amish village. I hope you turn into a woman tomorrow. So do I. Then I would have tits that I can constantly play with and I could be a lesbian. Oh yeah. How would you feel if you had to shave your legs all the damn time just so you could... Dude, you got nice smooth skin, you just get to roll around with your hairy ass legs. Obviously, shaving your legs is a choice. You already stated that you chose not to shave your legs for the 4th of July. Way to show your patriotism and also... How would you feel if you want? You just had to shave your leg when you just want to slap on some basketball shorts. Get out of here. With your hairy ass legs. Homegirl over there, I know you'd rather roam around with your hairy ass legs too! Well, at least you don't have to shave your balls. That is a very delicate and dangerous process. Seriously, a razor that close to your nuts is a very scary thing. But it's totally worth it when your girl will be more inclined to, well, you know, GO DOWN ON THAT SHIT!